So, you're a teacher, huh? That's great. Teaching is one of the most rewarding careers possible. It's also one of the few jobs out there that still have a pension. What's a pension, you ask? It's that line on your paycheck. It says VRS, or Virginia Retirement Services. Yeah, retirement. It's that thing that adults plan for. Now, you may just be starting out, and retirement may seem like a long ways off. Or maybe you've been at this for a while, and retirement is sooner than you expect. Either way, there are some things you should know about VRS, you, and Rockingham County. First, quick history lesson. We'll start with probably the most well-known retirement program, Social Security. The original Social Security Act was signed into law by President Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1935. At that time, the U.S. was just beginning to recover from the Great Depression. Millions of people were still out of work, and there was alarming concern for the elderly retired Americans who had lost everything. The Social Security program was intended to be, and still is today, a social insurance program. It's a government-run program providing economic security to U.S. citizens. The SSA still manages the program. Workers make their contribution from their paychecks, and monthly payments are made to those who are eligible. Now, Social Security was never meant to be someone's entire source of retirement income. The history of a pension is even older than Social Security. During the American Revolution, if a soldier survived the war, the Continental Congress would reward them with income for life. It was called a pension. And this was offered again by the federal government in the Civil War and every U.S. war since. The structure, however, it's not new. Soldiers who served in ancient Rome were also guaranteed income after they retired. There's also evidence of pensions being offered to public sector workers throughout history. The first corporate pension in the U.S. was established by the American Express Company in 1875. Banking and railroad companies were among the first to offer pensions to their employees. But by the turn of the 20th century, several large corporations began to grow and offer pensions. These included Standard Oil, U.S. Steel, AT&T, Kodak, Goodyear, General Electric, all of which had adapted pensions before 1930. Now, pensions were the norm for several years, but eventually they fell out of favor with companies. And that is in 1978, Congress approved the Revenue Act of 1978, which allowed for deferred contribution plans. Deferred contribution plans are also known by names like 401k, 403b. These are retirement saving plans sponsored by an employer. It let workers save and invest a piece of their paycheck before taxes are taken out. A big benefit of this plan is that you control how your money is invested. Today, most people have some kind of deferred contribution plan, and very few companies use pensions. So, what do you have? A pension? Social Security? 403B? Well, if you're a teacher in Virginia, you have at least two out of the three. And if you're a new teacher, you probably have all three. You see, depending on when you started teaching dictates what group you're placed in. Plan 1, Plan 2, or the hybrid plan under VRS. Honestly, they're all good, but there are some differences, so it's important to know the specifics. And it's important to know how Rockingham budgets to take care of you when retirement finally gets here. Remember, when we are talking about pensions, that means you get paid the rest of your life, no matter how long you live. I'll say that again, the rest of your life. How many of your friends can say their employers do that for them? So, how do the three plans work? Well, all three have age and service requirements. Plan 1 is a defined benefit plan, which means it's a straight pension. The retirement benefit is based on your age and credible years of service, and then they also average your final compensation using a formula. Employees whose membership date is before July 1, 2010 and were invested as of January 1, 2013 fall into VRS Plan 1. VRS Plan 2 is also a defined benefit plan, straight pension. The retirement benefit is based once again on your age, years of service, and how much you made. Employees whose membership date is July 1st, 2010 or later and were not vested 
as of January 1st, 2013, are covered under the provisions of VRS Plan 2. The third group is the Hybrid Retirement Plan, and this combines the features of the Defined Benefit Plan and your Contribution Plan. The plan applies to most members hired on or after January 1st, 2014, and some VRS Plan 1 and Plan 2 members may have opted to join into the Hybrid Plan. So the hybrid plan is basically part of your retirement will be from a pension sponsored by the state and part of your retirement comes from the amount that you've contributed over the years. So to recap so far, plan one and two members get a percentage of their highest years of salary for the rest of their life guaranteed. That's right, said guaranteed, like for as long as you live for life. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. We think so too. And if you're a hybrid plan member, you get a percentage for the rest of your life too, though it is lower than those in plan one and two. Now, don't worry hybrid members, you get something that plan one and two do not, the personal retirement account portion. So that means part of your retirement's from the pension for life, and part of it's your own account that is all yours, no matter what. And all three plans still get social security benefits. And, which is really neat because some teachers in other states like Texas don't get Social Security. And all this does not even include a host of other awesome benefits that Rockingham County has budgeted for and provides for their loyal employees. See, what I tell you, no matter which plan you're on, it's good. So how does this affect your compensation and how does Rockingham provide for all this? Well. The basic idea is that teachers make much, much more than just what's on their pay stub. And the county is, in essence, paying you possibly for the rest of your life. Yeah, it's a lot to take in, but let, let's see if we can simplify it. Every month, some of your paycheck goes to Social Security and to VRS. But every month, Rockingham County is actually chipping in a huge additional portion towards your VRS retirement. Effective July 1st, 2012, the General Assembly mandated that all school employees pay 5% VRS member contributions towards their retirement. That's what you pay. The member contribution is 5% of your reportable salary to VRS. As your employer, Rockingham County contributes 15.68% monthly to VRS on behalf of employees that are teachers, principals, assistants, nurses, clerical staff, and even other employees are still getting a large additional contribution towards their retirement. These monies are invested by VRS, and then once you retire, they use that money of yours that they invested to pay for your pension as long as you're collecting. Those numbers can be quite large and sometimes a little bit confusing. But if we look at the school district's budget, in the 2018-2019 school year, Rockingham County paid out over $11 million to cover VRS requirements alone. That's $11 million they paid for you. And that was almost 10% of the entire operating budget. You combine that with the salaries, other benefits, and you'll see most of the budget goes towards employees. This makes some sense because good teachers in the classroom is the greatest single factor in student success. An investment in teachers is an investment in the future. Well, let's connect the dots. Better teachers equal better education. Better educated citizens equal better jobs. Better jobs equal more pay, more pay, more revenue, and more revenue means more money for people, businesses, schools, public works, you name it. It is an investment in our future. Schools make the difference in a community, and you as the teacher make the difference in the school. So now let's look at the whole picture. Rockingham County invests in students and in the future by investing in you. Teacher compensation is much more than just your take-home pay. Every teacher that meets service requirements gets a pension for the rest of your life. When you retire, you can get a monthly payment. Every month, you will receive a check, no matter how long you live. 
and people are living longer and longer, so there's no telling how much it could be worth. Rockingham spends nearly 10% of its entire budget every year to provide this single benefit. A teacher can never be thanked enough for all the work you do and the difference you make. But understanding all your benefits will show you that the county values you for what you are, a caring professional entrusted with our most precious resource. You take care of the world's future, and now you see Rockingham and VRS helps take care of your future.